Hi, I'm Rich with Inside HPC. We're here at SC18 in Dallas, Texas. And today we're at the HPE booth with Larry Keller. Larry, how are you doing? You having a good show? I, I'm doing great today, Rich, and I'm having a great show. Thank you. Okay. Well, you know, with all this HPC stuff, it generates a lot of heat. What are you doing about that at HPE? So at HPE, we're all about HPC. And we have a new system today. It's they're called the Adaptive Rack Cooling System that we just showed this year. And um, if you don't mind, I'd like to actually take you through it and oh, yeah, show let's, you all the great, great things. All right, let's do a walk around. All right, so why, is it, what is, why do the people in the building care? Well, let's start HPC, your workloads is the most important thing in your life to the, to the HPC customers. So let's start with the front. We have management accessible locally with a touch screen on the door or remotely through either the customer's um, BMS software or HPE software. Now, that's great and all, but what does HPC customers really care about? It's cooling. So if you look at the front, this is the this is where it all happens. Okay. So what we have is a cooling unit that has 150 kilowatts of cooling capacity. Yeah. Um, it also has the capability of N plus one fans to help protect your your critical IT when it's you know in a, in your data center. Your workloads again are most critical yeah. things. Yeah. So why do we have such large fans? It's all about efficiency. It's all about pressurizing this front aisle, if you will. Mm -hmm. And it, as it pushes air through the plenums, it gets to your standard IT. So what's great about using standard IT in this rack is that you can use our Apollo 6500s, you can use our switches, you can use someone else's switches. It doesn't matter because it's standard IT. So again, pressure in the front helps to push the air through the servers, reduce your fans, allows you to cool higher powered um, IT devices. Okay, well, can we see what's on the other side of here? Sure, sure, like right. you walk around this way. Yep. Wow, okay, so we got a lot of, uh, lot of technology going on here. Sure, on the back side, this is your an IT rack. Again, it looks like a standard IT rack, but it's a little deeper. It allows you room to route all of that InfiniBand cabling, it also gives you area to route the um, so the hot air and the exhaust from the exhaust servers actually route into these plenums, and um, comes again back to the um, the star of the show, if you will. Okay. And if we open the doors, this is the backside of that 150 kilowatt cooling unit. So one of the benefits of this system over some of the other systems is this only has one water connection to each little cluster. A cluster is up to one to four racks. Yeah. It has one water connection, it's top or bottom, um, and the reason that's beneficial is it allows you to roll this into either a concrete slab data center or roll it onto your standard data center that has um, you know, floor cooling. So, scale, what is the data center's biggest, one of the biggest problems is cooling. You have a data center, you either build a new data center or you have to figure out how to get more density into that data center. That's where this comes in. Since you don't use the data center's air cooling, the air handlers, you can roll this in, you use the chillers, you can use warm water cooling, et cetera. It doesn't matter because it's a self-contained unit. So it allows you to increase your density without worrying about adding um, air conditioning. Well, yeah, yeah, so adding air conditioning tonnage, like when if you're at max, is expensive. You gotta put stuff on the roof exactly. and all that, right? You could wheel this in and it has a zero negative effect. Is that what you're saying? Exactly, it's, we consider it room neutral. And also, since you don't have to add air conditioning, build a new uh, new building, then mm -hmm. you have to look at it this way. HPC's fast. You have to you have to deploy these even faster every day. Well, kind of wrap up quick. Is this just for HPE gear? I mean, I saw some DDN stuff and all kinds of stuff in the rack that looked kind of standard to me. No, obviously HPE. We we would love you to only have HPE <laughs> hardware in here, but it is standard IT, so. Storage will go in, it, it doesn't matter because we know your data centers have a mixed variety of products and uh, we want to support you in that. So. Well, hey, thanks for sharing and I hope you have a great week here at SE18. Thanks. Thanks, Thank you. you Thanks, Larry.